Welcome. Today's video, we're going to talk about Obsidian resources, Obsidian teachers, Obsidian stuff that I use regularly, that I follow, that I read, that I watch to really just help me learn more about Obsidian and how I can use it to see other people's setups. Yeah, everything like that. Before we do that, if you want to support the channel, your best way is actually to take one of my courses at chrismichael.ca slash Skillshare. Um, you can go there, sign up, I get some money from that, and then you can take one of my courses. You're probably most interested in the Zettelkasten one if you're watching this. There's a link below to my Zettelkasten course on Skillshare. That's it. Let's dive into the Obsidian resources, Obsidian teachers that I follow. So I just have them set up right here in Safari. And the first one is the Obsidian Roundup email. It is an excellent email. Every week I find more things I want to like read out of it, more things I want, more plugins I want to try and everything. The biggest thing I'm trying to figure out is how do I get listed in this? Because I thought I did some decent video content on Obsidian. I just want to... Eleanor, how do I get in this? How do I get on this, Eleanor? Anyway, it's a good one. Uh, I can't remember if it's paid or not. Let's sign up. Yep, it's paid. I pay for it. I pay for it all the time because it's worthwhile and there's always something good in it every week for me to follow. Next up, the sweet setup. Disclaimer, I help build this site and I write for it sometimes. Very rarely am I writing for it lately, but I did help build it and I'm looking at building more with it again. So they have some great Obsidian content lately uh, from Mike Schmitz, from some of the other people, right? My Obsidian-based uh, Kanban workflow. And there's a bunch in here. Uh, quick notes, transcluding. They have a small little course on Obsidian. Also good. I have been, I've looked at the course because I can sign in, do what I want here. Good course, and I like the people. Sean's awesome, Mike's awesome. I worked with like everybody there, not just at the suite setup, but in other capacities as well. So it is a good resource to look at if you're looking at Obsidian content. Next up, Brian Jenks. He has a good video channel just in general, but this is probably the video that really uh, helped me come up with what I call tag notes. So I've done a video about that. I'll be linking it up above. And the way he uses tags and links in Obsidian to manage his Zettelcast and really helped me just can come up with tag notes and adjust how I was going to deal with my notes all the time. Doesn't look like I gave this a thumbs up, but I do really like the video. So there you go, thumbs up. Um, Brian has great content in general. You should follow his channel. So there'll be links to all these channels in the show notes if you're interested in them. Um, yeah, he's got a bunch. I actually have to watch. This is a four hour video, so I got to really dig into this one here. Next up, Asante Younger. I don't love everything he does. I don't watch all of his videos. I definitely watch more Brian Jenks videos than this, but his Obsidian Outliner plugin and overview updates, that was a really good one. When I got the, uh, when I saw Outliner, I started using it immediately because it's great. And he has some other really good ones on uh, how he uses LogSec with that, which I haven't used because I don't really need that tool. But he has some great videos as well there. I think you should just check that out for sure too. Next up, linking your thinking. So Eleanor, this is Eleanor again, who does the Obsidian Roundup email. How did I go on there, Eleanor? Anyway, linking your thinking, another good set of videos by Nick Milo. Uh, check out his channel and just watch what he does. He has some really good resources for you um, to learn how to use Obsidian, to learn how to use maps of content, and just to really set up a good knowledge management system. This is a good video on um, turning your notes into published articles by Eleanor. Finally, effective remote work. Justin, another good set of videos here uh, about how to organize just Obsidian in general. Uh, he goes out to a few other things as well, but uh, really he does a lot of stuff on and effectively remote working uh, is kind of his bigger uh, channel, but also uh, how to how he sets up his little cast and how he uses Obsidian. Uh, and he's got a great channel. I like it. Those are the ones I recommend. Those are the ones I follow. Those are the specific videos, which will all be linked in the show notes in the description for you to check out if you are interested in these extra resources. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. You can support the channel by taking one of my courses. Uh, you're probably most interested in the Zettelkasten course. And there's a link to that in the description below. It goes out to Skillshare. Have a good one.